Hey Procreate users, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm laying out 10 essential tips for using and making the most of layers in Procreate. Trust me, I don't want you to go one more day using Procreate without knowing every single one of these. Some of them you might know, but a few of them are gonna be total game changers for you. So let's dive in. Did you know you can clear an entire layer just with three fingers scrubbing? Like magic, let's do that again. Make sure your layer is selected, three fingers down, and a very quick scrubby random motion. Clears everything in the layer. Now you can also just click on the layer and hit clear. That works. You ever wanna just view one of your layers without going through the entire list of selecting and unchecking all the visibility? If all we want to see is the nebula, just long press on that box, and now it's only showing me the nebula with the background so you do have to turn the background off but you can long press and it will turn everything back on again the more layers you have in a file you may really want to consider using the lock feature to make sure you don't accidentally mess one up sometimes we think we're working in a certain new layer and of course we're like working in the layer underneath it so lock them as you go you can always unlock them Let's have a look at how I built this layer cake illustration. There are, of course, a lot of layers. You see what I did there? You can faintly see some of these layers have that little checkerboard going on behind them, and that indicates that they are on alpha lock. That means if I go to work in this frosting layer, and let's say I'm highlighting or I'm adding some airbrush to it, let's do something terrible here so that you can see, just as an example, if I try to paint neon green, which we think I think will undo this, it's only going to work within the area that has pixels in it already because of the alpha lock. Let's undo, that's a weird color. If I want to turn these cake layers into an alpha locked layer, I can click on the layer and come over here and check alpha lock. I can also just do a quick two finger swipe and that has also activated the alpha lock. So that's a cool gesture to know. It also turns it off. So that's just a really quick toggle. If you don't wanna go through the click and click, it might save you a click. Now there's something really sneaky going on with this. This is probably my favorite, most interesting, intriguing layer hack. Notice over here, I have a layer that's called a private layer. It's actually a photo reference. So when I created this illustration, I basically traced from a photo, but I made it my own. There are a lot of things I did to kind of change the colors, stylize the textures a little bit more. And when I do a cool little time-lapse and I share a time-lapse recording, nobody's going to see that photo in the background. Here's how I had that set up. When I brought this image in, I went up to the action wrench here, added, inserted a photo because I had a reference photo of cake, but watch this. Before I click insert, swipe to the left, insert a private photo. See how hidden that is so sneaky. So if I click insert a private photo and I bring in the photo of the cake, this was my original, <laughs> this is my original photo. Nobody is ever going to see that private layer, but I can totally see it and I can work from it and treat it like a normal layer. I can trace over it and all of that, but it won't show up in my time-lapse. Pretty cool. What if you have a project that you want to take some layers from and bring them into another project? What you can do is right swipe, take all of these layers. You could group them or not. This doesn't really affect what we're doing here. And click them, drag them out into the gallery. I'm long pressing out into my gallery, bring them out into this little galaxy painting we just made a little bit ago. And make sure it opens. Don't just drop it into the regular gallery. That's the trick. You can't just click and hold without pressing. It did sort of drop into the middle of the layer orders. So maybe at this point, it would benefit me to group these. And now just take my new group, 
and move that up in front of all the galaxy stuff. So it's still a really weird composition, but we did get the layers I wanted into a new document. When I dragged, I was dragging with the pencil and I used another finger to open the file. I'll show you what happens if you don't. Let's just take two layers because it's gonna make a bit of a mess. So we'll just take these top two layers, bring them out to the gallery, just drop them in the gallery. They're going to create a new document for each of those layers, which that could come in handy, but that's really not what I wanted, so let's delete them. If you have a project that's relying very heavily on a lot of layer effects, see in this one I have a subtract, I have hue, I've got color dodge, I've got hard light, pin light, divide, add, <laughs> lots of things creating this overall effect. And sometimes as you're working, you're starting to run out of space in your Procreate file. You might want to merge your layers to save memory and it doesn't always work when you have all the fancy effects going on. Now, if I take these three that are all marked to normal and I squish together, nothing will change. Visually, that looks great and now I just have one layer that combined all of those three normals and they were all side by side in their layer stack. So that worked. Let me hit undo there. If I decide to just take all these layers on the bottom that I can reach with one hand and squish them together, it really changes the outcome. So what I have for a workaround, I would go out to my gallery. If I was getting to a point where I really needed to free up layer space, I would select my composition, duplicate it, I would come in here and have everything turned on so that I can view it the way that I want it to be appearing. And I would click on Copy Canvas. Come up to the top here. Paste. Now I have everything that I had so far and I can just go ahead and delete all the ones behind. Now this is, you have to be a little bit committed to where you are in this you know, project. But if what you wanted was to start with this, maybe this was a background and you wanted to keep building more and more. Now I can go up on a new layer, maybe take a light brush and, you know, add in some more effects here. This quick shortcut is going to show you how to duplicate a layer and make sure it goes straight to the top. So we're just going to click on this layer and kind of kind of a long press and drag it out, out to the left. You can see the little green plus sign has shown up. It's duplicating. When I let go, it has popped it all the way to the top. If I wanna move it, I can pop it right over here. Sometimes we have a project that's going pretty well and we're, maybe we're really kind of in the zone as we're working on it. We zoom out to look at what we've done and it's like, wait, What's that random mark? <laughs> when did that even happen? What layer is it on? And if you have many, many layers, it's sometimes just a pain to figure out by toggling on every layer where that happened. So what you can do is no matter what layer I'm in, you can set up your preferences so that when I click on an isolated little mark like that, with my finger, layer 21, it's flashing layer 21 so that I can see where I need to go to fix that. And then I can get in there and go clean that up, you know, after the fact, make it, make it not be there any longer. The way to set that up is in your preferences. So it's not necessarily on by default. You're gonna go over to your actions wrench and in your preferences, this is within gesture controls. You go down for the layer select and a finger touch will invoke layer select for touch. That's what you want on. If you turn that off, everything I showed you won't work. So turn that on. I hope this was helpful. Don't just like and subscribe. Save this one. Save this video to a playlist or save my Rock and Chalk playlist on Procreate Tips. Try them out. Give them a test run. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.